right, my favorite tremolo technique, guys. So I'm gonna use two things. I am going to use the upward slant, and I'm also going to use the 45 degree angle. So the fallen wrist, the loose uh, technique from uh, the other video with the round side of the pick. Open, relaxed hand, hangs loose. The wrist falls down, but not in a tense way, in a loose way, it just falls that way. And it's very relaxed. And then we're gonna rotate from the forearm in a loose motion as if we're flicking a dart, but we're holding a pick instead of a dart. It's the healthiest position um, apparently to this study and a couple of players do it pretty awesomely. So I'm gonna try just on some open strings and give you guys a demo on how you could practice it. So get that hand super loose and relaxed. I'm gonna aim for about a three string swipe um, radius. So I'm gonna rotate like this, but try to only hit the three strings. So I have a 45 degree angle slicing that direction, but I start with an upward slant and rotate like this. I guess you start up, rotate down on the 45, so it's very smooth, and back up. And it feels like you're skipping on the top of the string, like skipping stones. So make sure you don't get too deep or you're gonna get stuck. So you're literally surfing the top of the string this way, not underneath the ocean on the top of the string, the round side, starting with the upward slant, rotating at a 45 degree angle with the loose fallen wrist. And there's no, there should be no tensing in the muscles. It's very relaxed, just loose. Trying to get a, a consistent back and forth. Tone. It kind of feels like scratching, but there's no tension. You don't squeeze anything tight. It's completely loose. We've reduced resistance we've, from our 45 degree angle. We've also reduced resistance from the forearm rotation. And the wrist is very relaxed and loose. I actually feel more relaxed from doing this because it's a very comfortable motion. Don't, don't tense it out in a painful way, and don't hold it straight in a rigid way. It's just relaxed and loose. And the other way we reduce resistance that we already talked about, repeating myself for clarification, is that we don't have a deep depth underneath the string. That's one of, these are, these are the, the big reasons people get stuck when they play guitar. It, it, it's basic uh, physics. Um, just trying to reduce resistance. So if you get too deep beneath, well, what happens if your surfboard dives underwater, you get stuck, right? So if you're surfing the top, you can keep that rock skipping, like a skipping rock, and you can keep gliding on top. But finding that smooth area, for me, my radius is about three strings when I strum. And that's what I'm focusing on. I can't tremolo pick all six. And tremolo, by the way, I think it's an Italian word that kind of comes from the root, maybe tremble. So it's like a loose tremble, not a tense tremble. Like a butterfly or a hummingbird that just flicks. Or they, in Spain, they call it the abanico, the fan. So if you're fanning yourself, maybe you fan like that. Or we're just holding it like the, the dart. Tremolo. So practice. If you hurt, though, stop. If you get stuck, you're you're having a resistance issue somewhere. If you have pain, you're not holding the body in a relaxed way. So you have to find the loose, relaxed motion and the healthiest pick grip. This is um, is one that you can do for a very long time and not get hurt, which is really good. You can actually do this to a rhythm. Sometimes that could be like 30. 32 notes per beat if we set up a metronome. Uh, sometimes it's a free time thing, but just start to get that motion relaxed. And if it's tense, go slower. Faster. Slower. Now 
here I'm focusing on the two, three, and four strings. We'll try the, the smallest two strings. The next two strings, next two strings, next two strings, next two strings. Now, the strings might be too loose in the middle, so you may want to do it here. Find where the tension is just right to get that good swing. There's more tension on this side of the string and less in the middle. The guitar string is kind of like a trampoline. On the outside, it's tense. In the middle, it's loose. So that can affect how we pick and how we, how we play. So you want to find that resistance to the string just the way you want to be able to do whatever technique you're doing and in a healthy way where you're able to relax. Tremolo. 45 forearm rotation, and, and a small 